strength of a family, like the strength of an army, lies in its loyalty to each other. Mario Puzo. In every conceivable manner, the family is a link to our past, bridge to our future. Alex Haley. In 1912, Julius Meltzer left Belarus to join his brothers in Philadelphia. It wasn't long before he summoned his wife Rose and their four children, which would soon grow to six, to join him. By 1929, with their mother Rose retired to bed to stay, the oldest daughter, Thelma, was sent to finishing school to learn to help care for the family. Two of the boys were on their way to star law careers, and the other two, led by A.L. Melmeltzer, who later brought in brother Herman, were building what would become the first furrier in America to become a public company before falling prey to time and generational shifts because tragedy, both personally and professionally, was lying in wait and checking in for an extended stay. Decades. And the Meltzers, beginning in 1936, would never be the same again. The tragedy train stayed in the station, even though very prosperous times for the remaining siblings were afoot. But money doesn't care who has it, and the Meltzer clan would be struck down again 30 years later, and then again, almost 30 years after that. Two of the children and a great-grandchild of Rose and Julius Meltzer were victims of suicide. Coincidence? Epigenetics? Generational tyranny? Will we ever know? However, a deep sense of sharing existed between surviving siblings. The bond, deeper than the average set of sibling relationships, formed under tremendously difficult upbringings, all of which led to various children, grandchildren, nieces, and nephews, all joining Evans Furs at one time or another, including myself, where I began as a stock boy in 1975 and worked in various locations around the country for the company until 1995. Don't worry, you didn't miss it.